You're still taking too long to edit your videos. Yeah, you've watched, what, 10 videos now on how to edit faster? Well, this is gonna be your last one, unless I make another one. If you decide to implement just these five tips that I'm about to share with you, I think they alone will save you hours while you edit. We're gonna start with the most boring of this list, which is stay organized. I've covered my organization in pretty good detail in a previous video, right there. Wait. Here or here, one of those. You have to get organized. There's really no right way to organize. You just have to organize. And that means just knowing where and what everything is while you're editing. If you know where and what everything is, you'll save yourself a substantial amount of time in the grand scheme of your project. If you spend less time editing, you can spend more time doing your taxes or cleaning your bathroom or other fun things. All right, now that we've sorted our online workspace, it's also important to organize our physical workspace. Create a productive workspace by removing any unnecessary clutter. Cultivate a work time that's full of nothing but work, where you can sit down and get to work and have nothing to stop you on your way to finishing your tasks. If you have all of your favorite toys and gadgets in front of you while you work, it just makes sense that those would pose some sort of obstacles when trying to zone in on your work, even if they aren't being touched or played with. Oh, that sounds gross. Even if they're not being touched or played with, <laughs> they're still there in sight. Make your screen the only thing drawing your eyes and your attention. I want your attention. Sorry, I was going for like the Uncle Sam thing. It felt weird. I'm not gonna do that again. I just wanted to tell you to subscribe, please. Another great way that you can stay focused and get your edits done quicker is tell a friend about it. Tell your friends about your goals to complete this project and get them excited with you. This adds some social pressure to stay on top of it and get it done. Your friends should be there to lovingly nudge you if they suspect that maybe you haven't been very productive. Even on a daily basis, tell them what you want to achieve today and then at the end of the day, show what you've achieved. If your friends are good friends, They'll cut you off and never talk to you again if you fail to meet your daily goal. It was a joke. A good friend would blackmail you and make you pay out your life savings in order to stop them from ruining your life with that picture that they took two years ago that you just never want to show up on the internet or you'll never be able to get a job again. That's what a good friend would do. I've got two more tips here and I'm afraid you might not like to hear the last one. But first is the lighter of the two. Stay flexible. Of course, you have a vision for your project. You and only you know exactly how it's gonna look in the end, but you're delusional. Your video won't turn out the way you want it, not to a T. Work with a goal and a direction in mind, but understand that things could change and it might require you to change your vision. Pivoting takes a lot less time than backtracking. Don't waste your time trying to fix things when in reality, they don't need to be fixed. You just need to be fixed. I mean, you just need to change the way you see the project. Okay, maybe this is the one you didn't wanna hear. I'm not saying you can't work hard to carry out your vision, but you just have to be open to new ideas and learn to compromise and make the best out of what you have in front of you for your project. Don't try to make it something that it can't be or that it shouldn't be. Be flexible. All right, well, here we are, the last point. This one, I did say, might tick you off just a little bit. Well, here it is. I'm about to tell you. Right now is when I reveal it. Ben, when you edit this, this is like, like make this like a nice riser, intense moment of anticipation so that it feels more epic and like, here we go. I'm gonna tell you, this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the last tip for saving hours while you work. The tip is... <laughs> Turn off your phone and get to work.
Thank you.